prices. You should get a hybrid. Spare me your advice on my transportation options, thank you. Erica thinks we should all go green. Green is what got me here. Not money. Erica says we need to think about the environment, the future. You know, I couldn't care less what you or Erica thinks. Well, Adam, you haven't even heard what I have to say yet. Hi, how are you? Mm, you know, living la vida loca. <laughs> and Adam, is he treating you well? Well, you know, he's all crust, but I know how he's like underneath. Could you ladies take this somewhere else, maybe? No, actually, Adam. I came to see you, too. Yeah, you didn't get enough gloating in at my jail cell? Adam, we have got to get Dre Woods out from under that horrible hit-and-run charge. He confessed. In case you've forgotten, I'm also facing serious charges. But you are hardly innocent. So if you helped Dre Woods, you might just be helping yourself. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot for having me. Yeah, you got it. So, you're good. Good to go. That's it? I'm out? Till the trial? Son, I want to talk to you. Seriously. Hey, yeah, Carl. Busy man. It's because of me, Grandpa. The calls, the damage control. I trust his chance at Senate. It was an accident. You made a mistake. But in the end, son, you stood up to the plate. Yeah, a little too little, too late. We'll get through this. Guess I'll be seeing you around. Yeah, you will. Listen, I really wish it wasn't like this. We ready? Yeah. Come on, let's get this young man out of here. Huh? Sandra is still asleep. Or she's pretending to be. Yeah, well, she's dealing with some heavy stuff. Made you some coffee. Thanks. She won't even talk to me. Well, she slammed the door on me twice before I got a word out. You know, if you could have seen her face when Dre was booked for Richie Novak's hit and run. I mean, she, she feels so guilty because he was arrested and she wasn't. How, how do I help her? How do I make that right? Hey, Colby, wait. I gotta go. I'm hooking up with friends. No, you're going to an AA meeting. Just because we couldn't go to one last night doesn't mean that you're off the hook. Take notes. Catch me up later. You're drinking. I'm a Chandler. Yeah, all the more reason you have to do this. I don't have to do anything. Colby, let JR help you. One more time, I don't need help. I was stressed, and the stress is gone. Really? Is that why you were downing a glass of vodka last night? It doesn't go away. But I'm 100% proof of that. Haley, Sky. Forget it, JR. I'm not going. God knows if Annie will make it into Fusion. She spent more time at the hospital than at the office. Okay, I get that she's pregnant. And I get that she had an accident. And I'm glad that she's not hurt. Really. It's just... I think she's going crazy. There's definitely something going on with her. Well, maybe you can convince Greenlee to fire Annie before she totally loses control. Or, better idea, we'll go with Annie and Ryan to Vegas. Now you're going crazy. Serious, pack your bags. Long weekend. Come on. What happens in Vegas? Could turn Annie psycho in Vegas. I'm not going anywhere with that woman. And he knows all about it. It's her idea. Well, another reason not to go. We need to do this. No, we don't, Zach. 
We can sit and watch Andy go crazy from a distance, not adjoining rooms. That way we can run when she goes boom. It's important. What's going on? I mean, what, what is really going on here? That post-red fusion with Greenlee's head chopped off. I think it's more than just hormones. Yeah, well, you told me to let it go. I know I did. I went to see her before the accident. And she was on edge. What did she say? What, did her head spin all the way around? No. Just a vibe. But we could have deal with it and deal with her. Zach, Annie is potentially dangerous. You want to hold her hand so she could drag us over the edge with her? No, I'm sorry. No, thank you. She's trying to get back what she lost. Her family, Ryan, us. Okay, well, she kind of blew that when she turned on you and she went after Greenlee. Fine, maybe she did, but let's see what happens when we take her out to Pine Valley. Away from the grief. And Greenlee. Yeah. See how she is when she's relaxed. Well, can't we just send her to a, a spa weekend at OK? No, we can't, because I need to watch her. If she is unstable, I don't want her around the kids. Neither do I. That's the last thing I want. But do we have to go on a trip with Annie and Ryan to prove that? Come on, Zach, what aren't you telling me? You trust me, right? Of course. Yes. All right. Let's go to Vegas. We'll go to Vegas. Okay, well, I have to pack some bling then. I'll get you more bling if you want. I want bling. <laughs> Come here. I love you. Mm -hmm. mm, I love you. Let's fix this, okay? Yeah. Oh, damn it. What? Oh, going to Vegas is going to be a hell of a lot more fun than telling Amanda and Babe they have to run Fusion alone. Colby, you've been through hell. Uh, but you're not alone. One of my friends was arrested because of Not me. because of you. So, yeah, I feel guilty. Maybe I've had a little to drink. It doesn't mean anything. I was stressed. That's it. Colby, I've been where you are. I don't do drugs. I don't take off on a ship around the world. No, no, my friends were hurt because of drinking. I'm not doing this. Colby. Colby, wait. JR's worried. Worry about Dad. He could go to prison. I get that you're scared. I'm not scared. I just have other plans. Who, who, just check it out. You know, just go with him. See what it's all about. But I'm not an alcoholic. But your brother is. And who knows? Maybe you'll learn something about him, about yourself. If, if, if you hate it, you never have to go back. You guys are torturing me. That's what we're supposed to do to a little sister. <sighs> okay. Just to see just this once. Yeah. That's all I ask. Good. I am really proud of you. Mwah. See you later. And I'm very proud of you. And I am late for work, so I'll see you. Mm -hmm. Bye. You ready? Hey, why not? Yeah, I can do the interview. No, Carl, I cannot talk about poll numbers right now. <sighs> it's good to be out of there. Well, then tell you must be starving at that jailhouse chow. No, don't put a spin on it. Just I tell should be hungry, but... But, well, Carl, if you can't back me on this, maybe you're the wrong guy for the campaign. Carl's freaking out? Carl lacks imagination. Candidate's son kills a man in a hit and run. It was an accident, young man. Folks would understand. Not after Dad's opponent drags it through the mud. That's enough, Dre. If you lose... If I lose, it's going to be my fault. It's not your fault. Look, I'm just sorry for the I'm mess I made. for what? For what, man? That my poll numbers are down? That my opponent's having a field day with this? That I'm losing support with my key constituents? Samuel. Dre, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you couldn't just come to me as your father and tell me the truth. And for that, I am sorry. Sandra never said a word to us. I mean, all this time she's been living with this guilt, the fear. I mean, Frankie, why, why couldn't she talk to us? I mean, let us help her. Mom, I understand you want to make everything... Right for her. You're her mother. You know, it used to be the hardest thing was to make sure that you both ate your vegetables. And now... And now your daughter is dating a guy who was charged with a hit and run, and your son... Oh, Lord, he is just a lost cause, isn't he? 